Borda, I am Luke Turan. Welcome to the C7s. On the next episode, we'll have Southern Africa on the left hand side. Right now, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. This is another requested video, and I've brought in someone special. He was Player of the Year in 2011, and he's in the running for Player of the Decade. He's someone I've looked up to for ages. It's Cecil Africa. All right, guys, let's go. The two and one, the step inside outside. Oh, it's brilliant. Africa, third try for the Blitzbocker. This is what I think of when I'm thinking about stepping someone. Uh, but like I always say to the guys, try and find something that really works for you and stick to it and really work out on, on this specific skill. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys can, can learn a thing or two from me and really, guys, and enjoy the session with me. So as with any skill, I'd recommend practicing the movement, starting off on your own, build it into training and then work yourself up into a game. You've got to commit these movements to muscle memory. If you didn't practice your passing, you wouldn't be surprised if you weren't throwing 20 meter passes. Good side stepping starts with physical prepared. Make sure your joints, ankles are strong and that you're really, really mobile. So we've done a video earlier on that goes through some drills and some exercises you can work on to get you started. Click up here to watch that. Right, so let's get into the technical side of sidestep and Cecil. Before you get the ball, what are some of the things you're thinking about? All right, guys, I know there's going to be technical and there's going to be a lot of information, but uh, what I do when I normally, before I get the ball, I first look at who's the guy I'm receiving the ball from, how strong his pass is, and then I look up to see where the defender is and, and who's defending me. And I'll make sure I'll maybe get like one or two step backs to make sure that when, when he looks up, that he see, oh, this guy is outside me, then he, he needs to chase out. And there's opportunity when you get the ball going forward and he's trying to chase out at you, then you step back onto his inside shoulder. That is, that is one of the scenarios or ideas because it's muscle memory. Those are the kind of triggers that I look at. So uh, most important thing is where you line up and how you take the ball, make sure that you, the guy you, 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 you're receiving the ball from, that he's a good, accurate passer. If you have a guy whose passes are not as strong, come a bit closer and make sure that you get the best out of that pass because the passes also have a massive uh, contribution to how you want to execute your, your step. Fair to say a lot of it comes from scanning. Obviously you've said there you've built that up over years of years of seeing different scenarios. So you don't have to think about it too much. But some of the things you said there, so like who's in front of you, who's passing to you, where you're standing, always you can set yourself up for a good sidestep. Yes, different scenarios for different situations. And uh, if you do practice it, then you'll understand where your strength is and where your weaknesses is and you just keep on working on it. One of the things I like to do is to see where that defender is looking. If he's looking in at the ruck, you could take all that information Cecil's spoken about, move your position slightly, so when that ball comes out, the defender's gonna have to try and find you again, and you would have already beaten them either with a bit of pace or a bit of footwork. Once you're receiving the ball, make sure your, 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 your first step is going forward to make sure that the defense is, is sitting or not moving sideways then you can beat him on the inside or the outside. You have to scan before you get the ball to see who's right in front of you. If you see it's a big guy, then you know, listen, that, this guy is slow on me, but I'm first going to make straight on him and then take him onto the outside because it's going to be easy because his reaction is going to be slow because you're coming towards him. So if you go towards him, then he's forced to, to come straight and take him on the outside. You don't necessarily have to go 100 kilometers per hour, the way you play with your pace, you, you, you can also be the guy. If you slow down, he's going to slow down. If you speed up, then he's going to speed up and it's going to make it easy for him to tackle you. But if as soon as you slow down your pace, then you go, then he has to react on, on what you're doing and then it's half a second too late. And that is what we want uh, in sevens, that half a, half a second of hesitation when you are ahead and beating the inside or the outside. So Cecil, once you've got the ball, we know you've got all kinds of steps. What are some of the ways you like to practice these, ready to beat a defender? 
Yeah, what I like to do, I actually like to pick out the cones. The cones is just a guideline in terms of what you want to execute. Uh, so what I normally do, I just pick it out like that, and I just practice uh, my goose step. So which is going to be quite simple. Just use this cone for the next one. The next one, that's just the guideline. Just, just to get muscle memory, then you go back the other way, left foot, left back, and then you just go. Just to make sure you, you're comfortable, repetition, repetition, to make sure you're comfortable to understanding where your feet are, and, and then work it from there. And the next one is uh, just the way you place your feet is very important because you don't want to step too wide. If you step wide, then you don't have, you're not explosive enough to, to get out of the, that position. So you gotta make sure you just like plant your feet like this and, and not big movements. Because a lot of people get confused by by the movements. It's just you gotta be bouncy once you step. So that's why you wanna make sure your ankles is strong, your joints are strong, and this is the way you want to plant your foot just to get out of there. Just to get out of there. Yeah. So this is the type of drills I do to make sure that I that I get my muscle memory, that I'm just getting out of there. And just to make sure that I'm bouncy of my outside step. Yeah, that is that's is, that's is the type of the drills I'm doing to make sure I'm working on that small, small improvements to make sure once we go out the field and then I'll execute it to the best of my ability. This is where I start. And uh, I move one, two step back, backwards. Only where you as a player is, is, is comfortable, make sure you see square. Once you, you're ready, ask for the ball, get it. Make sure the ball's in the middle and you go forward. You step onto the outside because you want to take him out to the outside. So that is the first movement. And now I'm just going to do it a, a bit quicker. Yes, okay? Same movement, going one, two step backwards. Getting the ball, make sure in the middle. Come forward, go step to the outside. Easy as that. Yes, okay? <laughs> exactly the same movement. Yeah, I'm asking for a ball. Going forward. Go step step back inside. Okay. Once you come back after the goose, it's because you see, you see the defender is, is moving hard across. So the space not the outside, but but the inside. Yeah. Let's go, okay? So yeah, go. Goose. Bah. Play. Once you move, you're comfortable, you, you ask the ball, yes, look, as soon as you get it, try to make sure the ball is right in front of you so that you can have two options, three options, either pass, step on outside, step on inside, or cruise him. So make sure once you receive the ball, that the ball is a place like of the center to make sure that you do go forward and beat it inside the outside. Yeah. Perfect. Because also the, the, the ball also helps. What you put your step, it almost like forces you here, try to go forward, and then you go from there. Got you, okay. <laughs> but keeping that defender thinking, you thinking. could do anything you if you have anything, it. Yeah. Two hands. Two hands, yes. Perfect. Perfect. So we've done scanning before the ball. We've also talked about the movements as we have the ball, how to fix that defender. I always think just as important is maybe those first three steps after contact or even using a handoff if you have it. What else do you think about? I think also sometimes you're gonna get caught. Maybe I'll have to make sure you get a handoff. If you do have a clean break, make sure you you know where supporters is. Quick guys, just just give them to them first time to make sure that they finish. So I was quite lucky to play with a guy with Alexia Bella. So I knew once I, once I have a clean break, and I'll just serve it to him and he'll finish it. So you do all the hard work and he takes all the glory. Lovely. So there's lots of quality information that you've passed over there, Cecil. But what are maybe the three things that you'd like some to take away from this? Obviously, it's practice, practice. But what in saying that uh, you got to make sure your, your hips are square, ball in two ends, and make sure you're decisive. If you're decisive, where you go inside to outside, you'll be lethal. So those are the three key points. Decisiveness, hips are square, and ball in two ends. So I hope you found that session useful. So much quality information from the main man, Cecil. Thanks very much for watching. If you do want to, please subscribe, give us a like. It'll really help us grow the channel.